Hi everybody, this is Sam Hunter at Hunter's Design Studio and today I'm going to show you how to make half square triangles HSTs using the easy angle ruler. I like this little ruler. It's possible to use it to make HSTs that come out the same size as the strip that you're using if you're combining HSTs and squares in a quilt. It's also easy to cut multiples this way. One of the nice things about the way it cuts out is you already have one of the dog ears taken off and it also gives you a point that leads you into your accurate quarter inch seam. So this method is good for you if you do have a relatively accurate quarter inch seam. If you don't have a relatively accurate quarter inch seam, I recommend that you get on that, sort that out, and or use the cut large sew together and then trim back to the correct size method that a lot of us use, whereby you take a square, you either cut it in half and sew the two together, or you draw a line on it and sew down either side of the line and then cut it in half. Either of those methods when done with a large square and then trim back to the correct size is actually the most accurate way that you can make an HST. I happen to like this ruler. Anytime you'll find little HSTs in my patterns, and I'll list the patterns below in this video, you're going to find that I've recommended this ruler and given some instruction with it. So I'm going to work, um, it comes in a couple of sizes. I'm not sure if it comes larger than the eight, uh, six and a half. I'm only going to use the little one. It's a very easily available ruler. Uh, if your local quilt store doesn't have it, ask them if they can order it. I know it's easy to find through their distribution channels. It's also not an expensive ruler. I don't think either one of these is more than a few dollars. And I also know that if you can't get it through your local quilt store, they don't have access to it, that you can find it easily online and you can find it at some of our big box craft stores. So let me use a little one. So the ruler is cut off on one tip and blacked out on the other tip. And those are to signify where we're hanging over or stopping at edges of fabric. So. What you do is you line the ruler up here. First, I'm sorry, put two strips together, right sides together. This is how we want these to come out. Okay, line them up against a line on your mat just to keep things straight. And then pop the ruler on top, line up to a line here. Make sure the stubby end is at the top of the fabric. Hold down nice and tight and cut. So you get this. Now the other one, you can either rotate the ruler around like this, or coming from here, you can flip on the diagonal and use the little black line to tell you where you are. Okay, so we're gonna align that line to the top of the fabric. We're gonna make sure the black point is sticking over the fabric. Hold down. Okay, so you get these. The nice thing is, is when you're sewing in on it, you're gonna start at that point, okay? Tells you where your quarter inch seam is. And if you look at this little row here, uh, when you're sewing, they would be going through the machine this way, uh, you notice that that locks up for chain piecing easily to the one behind it, right? So you don't have those awkward points that are sticking all over each other. Okay. When you've got it open and pressed out, you just cut one dog ear off instead of two and then you've got your HSTs. So super easy way to do it, but you do have to have a relatively accurate quarter inch seam to get going. I find it works best in places, again, where you're putting squares and triangles of the same side together. So it'll work with any of those. I really think this is kind of an underappreciated ruler, so I hope you give it a go. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments below the video here on YouTube or write me through the contact page on huntersdesignstudio.com and let me know what you're thinking and I will do my best to get you the information you need. Uh, see you next time. Take care.